let's talk about this ban. First and foremost, it won't work because it can't work. Allow me to explain why. VPNs. My wife loves watching this show called The Only Way is Essex. Toey, as the fans call it. It is objectively the most trash British TV show you could ever imagine. But my wife... She's a human raccoon. She loves trash. So in order for us to watch this show, we need to be able to watch ITV from England. Now, I could fly to England and watch ITV, but that's not really feasible most times. What we'd rather do is just pretend we're in England on a VPN, which you can do with a VPN so you can stream the shows you want where you want. And if you're not aware of this, a lot of people watch shows in out-of-market areas by using a VPN. By the way, shout out to my sponsor, Aura.com slash Shane Morris. Get yourself a VPN just in case TikTok gets banned. Anyway. The bigger picture thing here is that we need to understand that government, Congress, is not a ban hammer. Ask how prohibition worked out. Did that work? No, it just drove it underground. It drove workarounds. Congress needs to regulate public safety and the public interest. And we do this all the time. The Food and Drug Administration makes sure that the medicines we consume, the implants we get, the food we eat, they're all safe. We've got the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, what do they do? Make sure our cars crash test correctly. So if you're ever in an accident, you know, you're, you're not harmed. We like that we have regulating bodies for safety. The forest service will tell you when or when you can't have a fire when you go camping. Why? We don't have a big forest fire. These are hazards that we recognize. And we also understand that these governing bodies within our government understand very specific subject matters. Now, the internet and how social media works is not quite within the FCC, right? It's sort of communication, but it's, it's not, right? And so I do think right now what Congress needs to do is act intelligently, which I know they're not wonderful at doing, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. So what is the hazard here on TikTok right now? Is it maybe Chinese backdoors? I don't think so, but it's feasible. It's possible. Is it Probably, and more likely, GRU, cognitive warfare campaigns that are aimed at eroding our democracy, making people mistrust their elections, making people mistrust journalism, the quote-unquote mainstream media, not trust their government. Do I think that's the more likely outcome? Yes, absolutely. You should not have to wade into a territory that is being literally invaded electronically by a hostile foreign actor trying to poison your discourse. Because we should be able to talk freely and know that we're talking to real people and not military slash intelligence organizations from other countries who are trying to divide us and make our country weaker. That is a hazard. That is what Congress needs to regulate. There need to be, there need to be guide, guideposts. There need to be markings. There need to be ways of accessing and auditing. And we, what do we not learn from Facebook? Do we not learn from X? Do we not learn from the IRC and all these different operations that we know happened verifiably? Information warfare that happened in 2016 and 2020. Do we not care enough about our democracy to understand that these new companies, social media, I grant it, I know it's new. Shout out. Well, really not that new because I still am Shane Morris from MySpace. What's up? Um, no, like I, I know, I know I've been on social media. I've worked at social media. I, I get this. Social media is new. Congress needs to regulate social media in the same way they regulate other media outlets, communication outlets, public health outlets. It's, it's an amalgam of all of them. And for us to stand by and say our solution is to ban it, one, is lazy, but it's also stupid. So why not do that thing that you're supposed to do as members of Congress? This is what I would propose to them. And then I had a message I, I left for Congressman Don Beyer. By the way, Congressman Beyer, feel free to call me back, dog. I invited you to the DODGIC. I noticed that you want to put that invite in. You, you declined. Learn a little, dog. All of you, feel free to talk to me. I've got all the methodology. I've got a white paper. I've got a private GitLab you can look through. I can show you what happened. Have your staff contact me. Let's powwow over ideas. Because the one thing I know won't work is a stupid ban.